Out there. I am back and let's get it on the update of the PlayStation 1 collection. All right, I got all my PlayStation 1 and we're going to start off with the gunfighter. Oh, yeah, that's what we're talking about. Yeah, I got all my PlayStation 1 gathered up. And next, Planet of the Apes, baby. If you're an ape man, hit that like button. <laughs> I just love Planet of the Apes. I love the originals. I love the, the newer ones. I love the TV show. The only one I don't have is the animated series when it says Return of the Planet of the Apes. Then who remember that? I believe this. I believe I liked round two, the second one here. Better I do the first one. Ooh wee! This is a fun game. I used to have a Sega Saturn, and I had this game. I shouldn't have sold it. I shouldn't have got rid of it. But that thing there. Cost a lot of money on a Sega Saturn. Sheesh. Of course, you got your, have to have your greatest hits of Tomb Raider. Why? Because it's Linda Crawford. Which one is your favorite PlayStation 1 game? Please leave a comment and let me know because I would love to see. Who remembers seeing this series? I wouldn't mind getting a complete series. But they only put out season one on DVD. Why? <laughs> I'm trying to tell me it cost too much money to put the rest of the seasons on DVD. And here's the first one. Ready to rumble. Let's get ready to rumble. And plus, get to have your Tomb Raider 3. Yeah, don't forget, you got your collector's edition at Tomb Raider 3. And, collector's edition Tomb Raider 2. Starring Laura Crawford. Crawford. You trying to tell me, Laura Crawford was an original Tomb Raider? Kind of that one out there says, starring her. And you push, you got the original Tomb Raider. And you got yourself Tarzan. The greatest hit. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of these here. Don't forget about your Duke boys. Duke's a hazard. There's a Duke. It out. I guess that second one. Means it had a lot of uh, Daisy on it. And you got yourself some Flintstone Bedrock Bowling. Yep, I never knew. That is pretty fun to play right there. Um. Did I just have two of those? Let me see. Yeah. Yeah, that's not it. That's not it. Yeah, I do. I do have two of these. Why I have two? I guess I need to find out what all the doubles I got. And plus, of course I got two of these, but which... The other one is a collector, this one. This is the original. So, I keep in the collector's edition and the plus original, but I don't know why I got two of the other. Then you got Tigger's Honey Hunt. I guess you're Tigger, and then you have to help Winnie the Pooh. Excuse me. I ain't moving in my tummy. I 
Sorry, I'm not a very good Winnie the Pooh birthday. <laughs> oh, doing his voice. Then we got Resident Evil's collectors to cut. This is the greatest hit. Uh, I wouldn't mind getting my hands on the original Resident Evil. The original. So I could go with my Resident Evil collection. Oh, yeah. Maybe because I like how it looks, but I still like how that one is. Um, I hope y'all can read that pretty good because I cannot pronounce that. But still, a fun game. Come on, said man, y'all got some pretty, you got some pretty hefty, uh, hefty, uh, big old deal there. Yeah, I got some pretty good heavy hitters, you know, and you got the, uh, those a lot, you then you got the Disney kitchen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And this one here is one of the heavy hitters right there. Even though that's a big case. That's it there. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I need to go ahead and stick that one right there. But that's a pretty big old thing. Then I have Crash Bash. I don't know what happened to my original case. I think I, think I lost it. Then you had the Crash Bandicoot. Just a disc. I never did have the case for this one. Though. I always just had a game. And plus I had just a game of uh, Ready to Boxing. So I don't know why I got two of them. And I don't, I don't think that's a PlayStation. This is Windows, so that right there don't count. So I'll just put that all to the side. And it, but whatever it is, it's a complete four disc set. And you have your Dukes of Hazard Racing. This is the very first one. Dukes of Hazzard again. Ray. Now, this one here does not count. Because this one here, actually, I had somebody board my game here. And that crazy idiot didn't give me my game back. And gave me Tiny Tunes, Plucky's Big Adventure. Now, I like Tiny Toons and stuff, but where's my Power Rangers? Uh, here's another one. Fun game. Fun fact. Pretty good. Then I have another Resident Evil Director's Cut. This is a disc only. And... There's my lucky Luke. Oh yeah. And uh in fact you go to this website. This is gameroom.com. That's where I bought this uh lucky Luke from. And I had a uh I believe I had a video where I'm unboxing it. But they have some real good cheap games at that website, so uh, go check it out. And he plus. You have your warrior princess right there. I mean, in fact, if you ask me. She, in fact. She looked like to me. That she could play as Wonder Woman. What y'all think? <laughs> and of course you have your. Looney Tunes Racing. Sweet. Then you have your first one. I, will, I won't mind getting replacing my crack cases, so I guess I go find a bunch of uh, CDs. Is worth for crap, <laughs> and change those things out. Then you got your Toy Story too. Sweet. 
Who doesn't like Toy Story? Here's a, here's a like another banger hitter right there. Yes, sir. That's a look. That's a good game right there. Sweet mother of pearl. But I didn't realize, but this game right here went up in value. It did. It went up in value, but you know you got your you have to have your X Men children of Adam. That was a pretty good one. If you like hard games too. Oh yeah, like I said, it's getting close to Halloween, so maybe I need to start playing some some horror games. Which one is your horror games? Leave a comment. And this is I like the other Spider-Man games, but for the PlayStation, wow, this is a, is a fun Spider-Man game. Oh, love it. I played it a whole bunch of times when I was growing up. And of course, you have to have your original Space Jam. To me, this is my favorite basketball game of all time. Who doesn't like Michael Jordan or Looney Tunes and these ugly space aliens? Oh, yeah, Martians. Yeah. And, of course, Resident Evil 3. Somebody say, ding, 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 ding. Hit that like button if you're a Resident Evil fan. <laughs> or a PlayStation fan. Or any kind of game fan. Still hit that like button. And you got your Dino Crisis. I'm not for sure, but somebody said they might try to make a remake of Dino Crisis. They need to. That is fun, actually fun game. Is another one. Isn't it Evil Two? I got the one, which is the director sure is a kid in this one here too, and I just showed you not too long ago. Three. Which one do you like? One, two, or three? Or all the Resident Evil games. I like them all. But I hadn't tried the, uh, the the new one. The remake of Resident Evil 4. I hadn't played it yet. But I want, I want to. So I'm trying to get it. I don't know if I want it for the Series X. Or PlayStation 5. Which one should I get? How about if I get it? Both. <laughs> yeah then you got your X-Men Mutant Academy 2. Then you got your Marvel superheroes. In fact, I, I believe this game went value value went up on that too. And last and not least, oh yeah, that's what we're talking about, man. This is my last of my PlayStation One collection. Sweet. One a super auto sexy hero. Oh, they call that dude sexy hero, man. <laughs> All right. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe and see, cause I got I'm gonna have to do my uh, update on my PlayStation Two collection, cause I found more. Thank you so much. Goodbye for now. Let's see what I got in today. I can't believe it. It came in. So let's get it off.